Okay, in this video, we're doing number six from the 2024 Calc AB exam. Let's take a look. So the functions f and g are defined by f of x equals x squared plus two and g of x equals x squared minus two x as shown in the graph. A, let r be the region bounded by the graphs of f and g. So r is just that little region shown from zero to two. Um, write but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the area of the region. So we are gonna integrate from start to stop and top takeaway bottom. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I think that this is all we need to do. The integral from zero to two of the top curve is f of x minus the bottom curve, which is g of x and dx. And the functions are named, so I don't think we need to sub in. I think that we could just leave it like that. That's an integral expression. Uh, let's take a look at part B. So part B uh, was a popular complaint on the internet. So let's see what this looks like. Let s be the region bounded by the graph of g and the x-axis from two to five, as shown in the graph. Region S is the base of a solid. For this solid, at each x, at each x, the cross section perpendicular to the x-axis is a rectangle with height equal to half its base in region S. Okay, so uh, this is like the base of the rectangle that you're gonna make, and you're gonna make a rectangle, and they're telling you that the height is half of the base. So the base is just top takeaway bottom, it's just g of x. The height is half of the base, so it's one half of g of x. I know I didn't draw it to scale, but that's what's happening there. We want to find the volume of the solid. So we want to find the volume. It's not just set up but do not evaluate. So I, I don't know how many points are given to various things, but we are going from 2 to 5. Um, integral of the area of a cross-section. The area of a cross-section is just base times height, so it's going to be 1 half g of x times g of x, so 1 half g of x squared dx. All right, if it was set up but do not evaluate, we'd be done, but we are not done. We need to actually do this thing. So there's g of x. So we're gonna have one half, you can pull it out, two to five, you have to square g of x. So a couple of years in a row now, I think, or at least in the last five years, a couple of years, they've had some really annoying to evaluate definite integrals. I think they're really hammering the you do not need to simplify rule. So we will hit that when we hit it. But uh, this is one half integral from two to five, so we're going to square the first term, that's x to the fourth, multiply them together to get negative 2x cubed, double it, so minus 4x cubed. Then we're going to square the last term to get 4x squared, and then dx. Now we still need to integrate. We didn't do that yet. So it's 1 half. Now we're going to just reverse the power rule, so it's going to be plus 1 times the reciprocal. And then here you're going to get um, plus 1 times the reciprocal gives you 4 over 4, so you just get minus x to the fourth, and then you get 4 thirds x cubed. We need to evaluate this at two and at five. So five first, then two. What I'm gonna do is we're just subbing in one half quantity. We're gonna plug in five. So we get five to the fifth over five minus five to the fourth plus four thirds, five cubed. That's what you get when you plug in five minus parentheses, what you get when you plug in two, which is gonna be two to the fifth over five minus two to the fourth plus four thirds, two cubed. And then we're going to close our parentheses correctly, and we're just not going to touch this. I am not going to even try to simplify this. I didn't even type it into a calculator to just cheat. Nothing. That's how you leave it. Don't mess around with that. They seem to be emphasizing that. When you get an ugly thing, leave it. You don't need to simplify it. Let's look at um, the next part. So write but do not evaluate an integral expression that gives the volume of the solid generated when region S, uh, which you can see in the picture, as described in part B, is rotated around the horizontal line y equals 20. All right, y equals 20 is up here. It's above the region. So what's going to happen is you're going to get a big radius and a small radius. I'm going to color code them. So your big radius goes all the way from the x-axis up to 20. The little radius goes just from g up to 20. So we just need to write our volume formula. So it's going to be pi times the integral or from 2 to 5 of the big radius squared. So the big radius is just gonna be 20 minus zero. So 20 minus zero, we're doing top takeaway bottom to find that, so the top curve is 20, the bottom is zero. So 20 minus zero squared minus the little radius squared. The little radius is gonna be 20 minus g of x. So the quantity 20 minus g of x, and then squared. And then I think we throw a dx on this, and uh, that's the entire problem. So really not a bad problem, especially considering you are not going to simplify in part B. If you spend a lot of time trying to simplify, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully future generations will know not to simplify uh, because that seems to definitely be a thing that they're kind of emphasizing. All right, 
I hope this was helpful and good luck.